Mike Owens here, joined tonight by Shem Roch, who should have been the main man, should have been the poster boy of the evening. Unfortunately, that was ruined. Shem, how are we feeling? Fucking heartbroken, lad. Like, like you just said, this was supposed to be my night, the people's main event. Fucking the streets versus the police, all of that. But Pocorni shit as kecks. Like, I was, I was supposed to fight Pocorni in Prague in my last fight, and now tonight, and twice he's done a runner. Once halfway through the camp, and now once on fight night. I don't know what to say, lads. I'm, I'm gutted I'm not fighting. I'm gutted I'm now not earning the money to feed my family and look after my loved ones. But what can I do? I, I did kick him, so I, I, I've got to take the blame, do you know what I mean? But I know we could have fought tonight. I know if he really wanted to. If you kick me out the way and I'm fighting you there and then, I'm showing up in the cage, I'm fucking doing you in in the cage, and I'm fighting you after the event as well, back at the hotel. He just shit his pants. He just seen a way out. Still could see he'll get his fucking little bit of show money because he showed up and I've injured him. And now he's just going home with a bit of money and he didn't have to take a beating tonight, lad. He's just a fucking soft ass. Give me an honest answer. Do you think when you kicked him, did you think you'd hurt him? I know. I've kicked a million livers in my lifetime. I know I kicked him on the liver, 100%. Did that hurt? Yeah, of course it did. I kicked him on the liver. But I didn't follow through with it. If you look, my chest facing forward and my hips are turned. I couldn't get the full power through it. I was dehydrated by six kilos, so I wasn't fucking... I wasn't in fucking beast mode. I just kicked him, lad. Like, if you watch the video, I'm saying don't let him touch me, because if he touches me, we're going to fight. He touched me, come head to head with me and pushed me. I pushed him away the first time. He come a second time, I pushed him away. And if you watch his lead hand, he goes to reach with his lead hand like he's going to punch me. And that's when, because he was standing in orthodox for some reason, even though he's a southpaw. And that's when I just liver kicked him, lad. But I know there's nothing wrong with his ribs, lad. He just fucking looked away out there. Look, there's been a, it's been a nasty build up, hasn't it? Probably one of the nastiest of your of your career, if we're being honest. Um, have your feelings changed? Have they got worse? Are you feeling more angry or more upset at Bacconi? Like, where are you at with him as a person? Um, I said this before. I'll say it again. You want me to be the good guy? I'll be the good guy. You want me to be the bad guy? I'll be the bad guy. I don't give a fuck. Just pay me, like. I don't like the police and I don't like Pocorni. Pocorni's a police officer, lad. Fuck him. But I don't think he'll ever get to fight me again because I just don't think he'll ever step in there with me. You know, there's an event coming up in Prague and maybe they want to do that fight again and the hype's massive behind it now because of all of the backstory. But, lad, what happens if I get in there and it's fucking not him and he doesn't show up again and I go through all that camp? Like, it's just a big risk for me, lad. I don't know. But I'd smash his face in regardless and he knows it. Is there a party that wants to move on from it all? I just want to get paid, lad. I'm just here to get paid. Highest bid of wins. Just pay me some fucking money and I'll fight whoever you put in front of me. Last one from me, mate, because um, obviously you're not the one who's injured. So how quickly would you like to turn around? When would you like to get back in the cage? I've done five cuts to 70 kilos in fucking one year. Lad, I'm 84 kilos today. I'm 83 kilos today. And you want me to do another cut to 70 in a few weeks, lad? Yeah. Come on, lad. It's just not... It's so detrimental to your health, lad. I was supposed to take time off after this fight. My coach has told me. My strength and conditioning coach told me. My nutritionist mates have told me, like, lad, you've done five cuts in a year to 70 kilos. You know, lad, I think you should take a few months off after this one. But, lad, they put you in between a rock and a hard place when you've got to fucking fight to get paid, lad, innit? Do you know what I mean? So who knows what's going to happen? I say I'm going to go back and rest. And I'll be in the gym on Monday. And I'll spar Paddy because Paddy's fighting Tony Ferguson. And then I go, fuck it, well, Paddy's fighting. I'll just jump in on December and I'll fight as well, innit, Pad? <laughs> but who knows what's going to happen, lad? Who knows? Well, look, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Well, look, you're in good spirits despite what's happened, which is good to see. Um, one final thing before I let you go. What are your messages to your fans? And what are your messages to Bacconi if he's watching? My fans, I love yous all. I'm so sorry I let yous down. And... That I'm not fighting tonight and I know all the people who have bought tickets. I wish I could reimburse all your money, but I'm on my ass. <laughs> what do you want me to say? And Pocorni, fuck you, you little fart. Love it. Right, it's good to see you, mate. Nice one,